Hey guys, what's going on? So first off, sorry about the audio. I'm working off of a uh, cheapo little webcam. Um, second thing, this is a Gen 3 PO1 ECU. I'm not sure how this correlates to a Gen 4 or Gen 5 because I haven't messed with them. So um, hopefully this does kind of relate to those, so it'll help you as well. Um, what we're going to be do is, doing is we're going to be adjusting our base running airflow for idle. This table here. So you'll see we have two tables, one for uh, in gear and one for when we're in park or neutral. Before we make any changes to this table, we have to make sure our primary VE is uh, ballpark where we need it. So I idle in the 800 to 1400. As, as the truck uh, warms up, it uh, decreases in RPM and uh, VE changes a little bit around these areas. So um, make sure this is pretty much where you need it. And then another important thing is your OLEQ under um, under fuel, open loop, uh, your EQ ratio. As your coolant temperature increases, um, it's going to command a different a, uh, AFR. So you need your AFR to be correct as the coolant temperature increases because if it's not, you're just going to have issues with um, with your fueling being wrong. I mean, obviously your airflow is going to be wrong, so these numbers will be incorrect and unusable. So once you got all that squared away, um, you're going to want to go to your scanner, go to math parameters, and you see I already have them here, but I'll redo them for you real quick. So you have two different things. Remember how we have remember how we have two different tables here, one for in gear and one for in park? So you need two different tables, one for in gear and one for in park. So your first one, um, I'll go ahead and delete this and I'll show you how to do it real quick. So new variable, you're gonna want to type LTIT, this is for in park, right? So LTIT, park slash neutral, AC off. Just like that, grams per second. Then you're going to add short term idle trim in grams per second, just like that. And that's it for idle um, park slash neutral. So for in gear, it's basically the same thing. You're going to add parameter uh, long term idle trim for in gear AC off. This is going to be grams per second. Add short term idle trim in grams per second and that's it that's it for both parameters got both those knocked out so now we can populate our um, histogram so for park slash neutral you're going to want to um, go to user defined this uh, math parameter that we made earlier right here park slash neutral click that one I'm going to change this to three decimals and then uh, two cell hits required, a high value of 20, color that one red, low value of negative 20, color that one green. And then you're going to want to click your parameter for inch and coolant temp. So you just type in coolant, this one here. Yep, sounds good. And then uh, the values we get here are from this table right here. You want to copy the column axis and then paste it just like that. And then for the row axis, you're going to use your parameter park slash neutral right here. And that's it for that one. For in gear, it's the same thing. So you click your parameters, user defined, for in gear. Three decimal places, two cell heads required, high value of 20, color that one red, low value of negative 20, color that one green. And then uh, same thing, click your engine coolant temp, uh, column axis. And then uh, parameter for your row axis is going to be your user defined when you're in gear. And that's it. So then this table will populate. And then down here for your charts layout for in gear, uh, the math parameter is going to be the same thing. User defined, in gear. Sorry, in gear. Three decimals, high value of 20, low value of negative 20. Uh, reference line enabled, color it blue. Same thing for park slash neutral. User defined park slash neutral, three decimal places, uh, high value of 20, low value of negative 20, enable the reference line, and color it whatever color you want. After that, your numbers up here will start to populate. So um, the trick with this is you want your engine to be as cool as possible before you start it. I just, I made this here, that way I can show this video for you guys. Uh, mine was at negative, mine was at 90 degrees, not negative 90, mine was at 90 degrees uh, when I started the, the engine, so it only populated um, as you can see here, when I first started it, I was at negative uh, 91. What is wrong with me? <laughs>
91 degrees Fahrenheit when I started the truck. So it only populated uh, data for when the coolant temperature was 90 degrees and up. So as you're doing this, you want to go under uh, the, these power options here, these uh, vehicle control and specific functions. Click that button, go to system, go to fans, and click your fans uh, 1 and 2 and AC. Make sure all three of those are off. All right, because if your air, if if you get up this temperature here, and your fans kick on, it's going to mess up your airflow numbers, and that data will be incorrect. So um, again, start when your truck is completely cold. Warm up to about 200 degrees. Stop the recording, and then you have this data populated here. You're going to click right here, copy, go over here, and if you were in gear, you would pay special add right if you're in neutral you would click here pay special add it's that easy so you're going to do this twice in park so the first time start off at uh, whatever temperature is coolest for you and then uh, data log all the way up to about 200 degrees turn it off uh, make sure you turn your truck off because your fans aren't going to take on because remember we turned them off turn your truck off Go, through, go to your table, pay special, add whatever data you, you, you accumulated, do that twice, and do the same thing for when you're in gear. And that's it. Easy peasy. Uh, comment if you have any questions, and I'll uh, see if I can answer them.